Hey, what's up guys? This is Darkroom Duels, and today we're going to be doing a little bit more of a serious video. Today we're going to be talking about COPA and how it's going to be affecting YouTube. So this is something that I actually wanted to go over with you guys a little bit because I feel like more people in our community need to be talking about this. And nobody else besides Ben10000, to my knowledge, has made a video about this and how it is going to be affecting YouTubers and also other YouTubers in the community. So this is something that we really need to be talking about more in the community and other larger YouTubers and even content creators that are even larger than me are going to be needing to be talking about in the near future. So a little bit of background for you guys. COPA is a law that was actually put into place a long time ago for the Privacy Act for children to basically protect children in the way that their information should not be gathered by big corporations in order to be marketed against them which is great it should not be marketed against children children's information should not be gathered and that should not be a problem however with the new digital age that we are having in the 20 you know 2000s and you know the early 2020s era we are gathering more and more information and companies are gathering more and more information. I personally am not gathering any information on anyone. No information is being gathered through Dark Arm Duelist. The only information that I have on anyone is the analytics that I am given by YouTube. But I will tell you guys this. COPA only affects content creators that are going to be making content that's specifically targeting children. But the laws are so vague at this point in time that it is a little bit dangerous for any content creator on YouTube at all. So every YouTuber is kind of in a frenzy. Even me. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm not a little bit nervous. I'm a lot nervous for this particular law that's coming into place. And that's why I really wanted to make a video about this to you guys. So a little bit of background about this besides it being made as a older law. Recently, YouTube was sued by the U.S. Trade Commission uh, for $170 million, to my understanding of what I've read previous to this video. I've been doing a lot of research with myself and Scorpio Senpai over the past couple of days. Since I got up one night at about 4.30 in the morning, you guys know I drop my videos really late, but I got up one night and I dropped a video and I saw, oh my god, um, you have to mark all your content as either for children or not for children. There is no middle ground with this law. There is no middle, you know, there's, there's no, it's either for children or not for children. There's, there's no middle ground. And that's what's scary about this because I play Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh, as you know, is a plus six game. You can look at any package, just like this box of zombie horde that's right beside me. It says that is plus six. But under my demographics, Yu-Gi-Oh! is entirely too much of a complicated game for any child that's under the age of 13. You can A child under the age of 13 is not going to be able to grasp any deck except maybe like, I don't know, I don't even think they could grasp Monarchs that doesn't even play extra deck. It's too complicated. It just is. You never see a kid at YCS. You never see a kid... I don't even think Yu-Gi-Oh... I don't even think they're doing the Dragon Duels anymore, which was for children the age of, like, 13 and up, even. is The majority of the Yu-Gi-Oh community is, like, my analytic state from the ages of 18 to 34 is what my analytics show me that over 90% of my community is between the age of 18 and 34. But as of YouTube policy, I cannot show you my analytics, which I wish I could... But I cannot show you my analytics. That is against their policy, and I would lose my channel over that, and I really don't want to do that to you guys, because I love the community that we have here. But we need to be discussing COPA a little bit more as a community and discussing how we can actually do something about this. So I will tell you guys, down in the description, there will be a link to the FTC where they really want a comment back to them about how this is going to affect you as a content creator or a viewer, either or. It does not matter if you're a content creator or a viewer. They are trying to absorb information about different people that are going to be affected by COPA, and there is still time to revise it. It does not go into effect until January 1st, 2020. So that is extremely important. And even after that, just like when we had the net neutrality law, we all came together as a community and we actually stood up and said, hey, wait a minute, we need to do something about this. This is not right as it stands. 
and we were able to fix that particular law to where it worked for everybody. It works for everybody. And so that's why we need to be discussing this as well, is because it is going to affect everybody. Just because as it stands, just tonight, I was editing videos for you guys to enjoy. And I will say that the lines for YouTube are becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. Because on one side, you have COPA, and on the other side, you have YouTube. And I'm not saying that either party is right or wrong. I am simply stating the facts here. COPA is trying to make it where child-friendly content is harder to produce because when you have COPA content that is child-friendly, you lose the ability, and you mark it as a child-friendly content, you lose the ability to have comments, you lose the ability to have likes, you lose the ability to have suggested videos, you lose all of that. Live streaming, you cannot have any of it, any of it is on any of the under 13 videos. And the worst part about it is for content creators is that they do not have personalized ads on any of those videos. So anybody who's making child-friendly content is going to lose between 60 and 90% of their particular revenue, which is a devastating problem for content creators and it is a big, big issue for a lot of content creators because they're going to lose out on a lot of their funds that they use to make these particular videos. And that's really bad. That's really bad. And so these content creators that are going to lose that particular content or revenue that's potentially coming in from YouTube are going to, some of them are going to disappear. They're, they're just going to disappear. Like, a Scorpio Senpai, she watches a lot of doll creators, and the lines are so vague that I really want to read you guys something that is going on with this net neutrality, or not net neutrality, but COPA. But the one, the one thing that sticks out to me is this, is I want to read you guys this. It says that uh, when deciding whether your channel is not, uh, your channel is videos or are made for kids, you must consider various factors, including subject matter of the video, if it's educational or for preschoolers. We're good on that. Check. We're fine. Whether children are your intended or actual audience. My demographic is between 18 to 34. I am not intending any of my videos, and for the future reference, none of my videos are made for children. They are not made for kids under the age of 13. I want it stated now. Dark Arm Duelists videos are not for little kids. Whether the intended video uses actors that are children. None of my videos use actors that are children. It is only me and Scorpio Senpai in any of my videos. Whether the video includes characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children. Now that one's a little bit vague. Yu-Gi-Oh cards are trading cards. That's a little vague. Toys can be made for adults. Toys can be made for teenagers. These are not toys for children. These are very fragile pieces of cardboard and paper. They get destroyed by little kids. It's not for little kids. Whether the language of the video is intended for children. The average kid's not going to know what the hell I'm saying. I'm going to be honest with you, a combo, it's, it's going to be beyond them. They might know how to normal summon, maybe, but then they're going to play six or seven other cards and they're going to be cheating. Whether the video includes activities that, now here's the scary one, whether the, langu whether the video includes activities that appeal to children such as play acting, sample songs, which is scary, we can't listen to music anymore, games, or early education. Whether And that is the really scary one. And then the next one is whether the video includes songs, stories, or poems for children. Any other information you may have to help determine your video's audience, like evidence of the video's audience. So you have to have evidence. That's why I'm using my demographics as a reference point all the time, is because my demographic states that. But what I'm getting to is, guys, is this. For content creators, it is becoming more difficult to produce videos. Because on one end, you have COPA that is policing us and scaring a lot of content creators into not even creating content. I cannot tell you how many videos I have gone out there and seen just today that state 
this is my last video on YouTube and I'm not going to create videos anymore. That is not happening on Dark Arm Duelist. I am not quitting. I don't give up. I'm not going to give up on you guys. I love what I've made here. I love the community I have. I love making deck profiles for you guys. And I love doing this. I love showing you guys decks. But on the other end, we have YouTube that is slowly getting more and more strict with their algorithm that doesn't work. Their algorithm does not work where it is making it so we get yellow demonetization flags on the majority of our videos, even if we don't cuss in the videos, even if we don't have anything that's not appropriate. Now, they've gotten better. They've gotten better where I had three of the seven videos that I edited this evening get flagged for inappropriate for advertisers. They just said, you're not appropriate for advertisers. And I appealed them, and they fixed two of the three videos and said, okay, they're fine. But what happens when they don't? What happens when they don't fix it on this end and say, your video is not suitable for advertisers, and oh, by the way, Copa is saying it's for kids, and so you're not going to get any revenue off of any of your videos. And if you mismark your video, you are eligible for a $42,000 fine. That is absurd. If any content creator, I'm going to tell you as somebody who gets revenue off of YouTube, if any content creator ever got that amount of a fine for each video, I have over 800 videos posted on YouTube, just about. I think I'm at like 780 at the current moment. But if any of us ever got hit for that, it would kill our channels. We would, we would, I would... I would not want to walk away, but if Yu-Gi-Oh! as a whole got hit, I don't know what I would do. I, I really don't. I mean, video games are a red flag. Toys are a red flag. I mean, there's just so many problems with this law. And and they need to fix it. They need to they need to revise this old law and make it work for modern day because the people that have written this law do not know what they're doing. I'm going to be plain. They don't know what they're doing with this law. They're trying to protect children, and that's wonderful, but they're hurting the many in the process because they're not fixing, they're not, they're not set, they're, how do I put this? They're trying to protect children, but they're hurting content creators and viewers because they don't know what they're really considering as child content because they're making it so vague that this law can be abused in so many ways that it shouldn't be abused when it all it's supposed to do is protect children. And so I will say to you guys one more time before I end this video, please, if you guys love a content creator, and I'm not saying me, but if you love a content creator and they have a Patreon, they have a PayPal, they have a Ko-Fi, they have a Mixer, they have a whatever they have, and you really like somebody, support them. Support the content creators if you can. If you can't, don't do it. If you can't. But if you just want to help us YouTubers, and you want to help us succeed and continue my dream as being a YouTuber for you guys and making the content that I make for you, please go out to the FTC's website and make a comment that is respectful, is matter-of-fact, to the point, but yet firm, and tell them that this is not going to work and that it is going to affect all content creators and it's going to affect what you view and your enjoyment of YouTube and it is going to, it's going to kill jobs. This is going to kill jobs for people like me, maybe not me, but... People that are in different communities, it is going to influence them. It is going to ruin what they are trying to do with their channels, and it is going to be a problem. And it's and it's a problem. But you guys should go out there and make a comment. And also, please, I'm going to put a petition that's going to be on chain, I believe change.org that I'm going to put in the description as well. I am not going to put my usual, you know, my usual, you know, links that I have, those are going to be the first two links. This is for the petition and the FTC, and you guys need to go out there, and this is, if you do nothing else with your day, please go out there and write a respectful comment to the FTC. The Federal Trade Commission needs to know what they're doing at the current moment is right but wrong at the same time, because they're trying to protect children but hurting content creators 
all at once. And that is a big problem for everybody across YouTube. So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'm sorry that this video got really serious really quickly, but this is a topic that we need to be discussing, and it is really important for everybody that is a YouTube user to go out there and share a story, share an, influ share, share an experience that you've had on YouTube and why you love it the way it is, but at the same time, they need to fix what they're doing. It's great that they're trying to protect children, but at the same time, protect us content creators as well. And I have to say one more thing to you guys. I know that YouTube is trying to wash their hands a little bit of this, but YouTube really needs to step up a little bit. And I know that they're trying to legally step back from this where they're not going to be affected by this, but they are going to be affected by this when we content creators are fined, run off, and just ultimately scared by this particular law. And so YouTube needs to assist us more than just making a six minute video and one page of information, maybe three or four pages of information about how this is going to affect us. Because ultimately, YouTube needs to help. And that's the bottom line. So anyways, guys, this is Dark Arm Duelist. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely go sign the petition. Definitely go give a respectful comment to the FTC. And I will see you guys in the next video because Dark Arm Duelist, we're not going anywhere. I'll see you around.